Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's lesson, we're going to look at how to perform point-in-time recovery. Now, point-in-time recovery is used mainly when you don't want to perform a full or a complete recovery. You know, situations where tables are dropped accidentally, you know, you could use simple point-in-time recovery methods to recover the dropped tables and um, we'll see how to do that real quick, okay? So um, we're going to create a scenario where a table is dropped accidentally and then you are asked to recover the table, okay? So as a first step, let's um, connect to the database. Okay, we just connected to the database and then we want to issue the command alter system um, switch log file. Then let's alter the session, okay, and change the container to the pluggable database. All right, session has been altered. So we'll just create a quick table, okay, using the data from DBA underscore tables. So I'll just go ahead and execute this. Now the table has been created. Okay, now the next thing we want to try to do is to take a note of the time we created this table. So for that, I will just quickly execute this, select to car, sys date, and then we give the format from dual. Okay, so it will give us this time. Now we want to take note of this time because we're going to use it in our recovery commands. Okay, so let me just um, copy this. Now, one of the things we want to do again after taking note of this timestamp okay, is to switch the redo log file. And then for that, we're going to alter the session and then set our container, you know, to the CDB dollar sign root. Okay. So session has been altered. Now we'll alter the system and then switch log file. Okay, so this has been done successfully. Now, let's go ahead and drop the table we just created. And for us to do that, we need to alter the session again back to the pluggable database PDB1, okay? So, um, alter session, set container equal to PDB1. And then we'll drop the table drop table system dot data table has been dropped so let us exit and then let's clear our screen now if you query from that table you will not see anything again you will not find the table and you will not find the data so let's look at our recovery Procedure. First and foremost, we need to invoke Arman. And then the next thing we want to do is to close the pluggable database. Okay. For recovery to take place, we need to close the pluggable database. That has been done. Now we need to use the restore command, but this time around, we would include the clause until the time we took, okay? So we'll say restore pluggable database PDB1 until time to date. And then we, we supply the details of the time we took earlier when we created the table, okay? So if we execute this, we can see that it's done restoring. So what we want to do next is to recover the pluggable database. Again, we use the command recover pluggable database pdb1 until time and then we put the same time but this time around we use an auxiliary destination okay and then we'll execute this has been done now take note that the auxiliary destination is actually the shared folder the folder that is shared between my host pc and the virtual machine i'm using for this practice okay now after that you will now alter the pluggable database and open it with reset logs. System has been processed. 
So let's exit and confirm that we have our table. For that, I'll execute this statement, SQL plus system slash password at PDB1 just to connect directly. And then we'll select count from system.data, that's the table. And we can see that we have 1,830 rows. So we've successfully recovered the dropped table. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.